Hello and welcome to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song program. The nature of this program is to take a closer look at one of the hymns that has been written to glorify God. Today on Scripture and Song, we'll be looking at the hymn Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us, and this is part 1. There have been many hymns that have dealt with the subject of God leading His people, and we have looked at some of them previously on Scripture and Song, such as He Leadeth Me, Lead On, O King Eternal, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah, and Jesus Savior, Pilot Me. By the title and the opening words, Savior, Like a Shepherd Lead Us, we have an expression of the desire of God's people all through time who want to be led by their precious Savior, because God gives them that desire. We can go through the book of Psalms and see this when we read verses like, Lead me, O Jehovah, lead me in thy truth, and teach me. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me in the way everlasting, and lead me into the land of uprightness. God's elect are typified by sheep. It says in Psalm 100, verse 3, We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. The analogy of the shepherd and the sheep is found in John chapter 10, and we'll read verse 4, which speaks of the shepherd. That's John 10, verse 4, And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Later in the chapter, Jesus likens himself to the shepherd, and we'll read from John 10, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. We read that the sheep follow the shepherd. We are told how this is done by the voice of the shepherd, and we know the voice of Christ is his word, the Bible. And that is, to a large degree, how God leads his people as we read from the Bible and are shown what we should be doing and what we should not be doing. It is in the Bible that we find the will of God for our lives. The hymn goes on to say, Much we need thy tender care. Just as the sheep would be lost without the leading of the shepherd, we also would be in much trouble had the Lord Jesus not cared so deeply for us. As the sheep are defenseless without their shepherd to ward off attacks, so it is that God is our guardian in the way, and keeps us safe, restraining sin in our lives, and truly cares for us, as we find in 1 Peter 5, verse 7, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Continuing in the first stanza, we find the words, In thy pleasant pastures feed us. God works within his people to desire to be fed and nourished with the truth from the Bible. And what a blessing it has been to have lived in a time, starting with the Great Tribulation, where the word of God was unsealed, and much misunderstanding over the years has been clarified. This has continued in our current day of judgment, as God continues to open our eyes to much hidden truth. And there's a special emphasis on this desire to feed now, as Christ commanded Peter to feed his sheep in John 21, and so that is our task today. In the refrain of Savior like a shepherd lead us, we sing, Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast bought us, thine we are. Just as the shepherd owns his flock, it is the same way with God and his people. He bought us, and we are his. We read in 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 and 20, What, know ye not, that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God's. As the sheep follow the shepherd and would be completely lost without him, so it is that God is leading us, and he has total ownership over us and all that we have. 
We follow his commands, for he knows what is best. May we remember how high a price that the Lord Jesus had to pay to redeem us. And just as Christ gave himself for us, so we give up our lives for him, as we serve him, and we seek not to please ourselves, but to please the Lord Jesus. It is the desire of God's elect to be led by him, and that is what God promises to do, and that is what he does. He won't leave us comfortless. We can be certain that the Lord will lead us, as he has been doing, and will continue to do so. And now let's listen to the hymn, Savior, Like a Shepherd Lead Us. Thank you. 
You've been listening to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song Program. If you enjoy listening to our programming, we'd like to hear from you. Write to us at ebiblefellowship at juno.com.